So just keep the cup going, don't let it stop, hit two balls. Right, work. Work. Right, now swap hands. Your left hand. Last three balls. He's a pro, by the way. Right, how do you think? Hard? Difficult? Easy? Yeah, easier with the right and the left. Well, we can work that out. Obviously not married. Now then. <laughs> right, there you go. Somebody got it. Right, now you've got five balls now. Now what you do is you hit the first ball with your right hand, the second ball with your left hand, then your right hand, then your left hand. Is that confusing? Yeah, I like this. Look. Well, easy way to do it is like this. Imagine yourself still on the clock page. Point one at three o'clock, one at nine o'clock. Bring the nine o'clock to six o'clock. The three to six. The nine that went to six, take the three. The three that went to six, take nine. Okay, you're about five back home, you know. That's five back one. Okay, nine to three, quarter two, half pass, quarter two. Quarter pass, half pass, quarter two. Half pass, quarter pass, quarter two. Yeah, I'm going to sit there. <laughs> Just to be right, so have a little practice move. Take it away, have a, walk away from it a minute, have a practice move. Nice and smooth. Slowly, slowly. So the first one's going to be with your right hand, the second one's going to be with your left hand. All the way through. When you feel comfortable, do you want us to clap you in? <laughs> Can you clap him in? Go on, let's clap him in. Then. Go on, then. Go on. Three, two, one, go. All right, I'm going to practice him first. Left hand. Where are you doing now? Left hand. Left hand. Start again. Right hand, left hand. Yeah, keep your head down. That's it, that's it. That's it, like that. Right, quarter two, look at that. Simple, isn't it? Eh? Quarter two, half pass, quarter pass. So the first one's doing a right hand. Oh. <laughs> Couldn't all get a seat, could you? You'll be here a while. Right, right hand, look, quarter two, quarter pass, half pass. That's it. And then the first one with a right hand, second with a left, then the right, then the left. Come on. Well, yeah, that'd be raining again in 10 minutes. Right, when you're ready, come on. Do you want to tap it in again? No, tap it. Go on, keep it. Oh, no, he was nearly there. Three, two, one. Right hand, left hand, right hand. Yes. No. Which one will we go with now? Give her a round of applause. Have a good day. You put yourself all over the place, haven't you? Don't do this right there. Here, that's the tree. Don't do it. One, two, three, off left. One second. You went to five past one and expecting a seven one point. Just keep yourself caught to half past half past, like that. <laughs> now after a while you're gonna have to start going around corners. <laughs> now women have got nice slow rhythms, haven't they? You know, they just knock it like that down the middle, float much faster. But whatever your rhythm, it's a great way to practice. And people say, I haven't got a lot of time to practice. <laughs> Give him a round of applause, he did well, he did well. <laughs> the worst thing about that, it's already on YouTube, Paul. And I can write it. Any volunteers? Robert. <laughs> so this young man here, this gentleman here, that's two. Maybe from over here? Yeah, I knew you were going to put your hand up. How about Dan? Can we borrow Dan? Yeah, that's true then. Come on then. Hey, come. Come and stand up on this bit where it's a bit dry. Yeah, there's lovely trainers, nice and lovely there. Right. So come up here, it's a little bit dry. Right, there you go. What we're going to do, we're going to do a high tea challenge. Oh, it's a bit wet there. Hang on. Let's come in. So all you need you to do is just take that off of there. Got under yards. Yep. Have a practice move first. That's it. Perfect. Look at that. Small. Yo. So that's a good gag, isn't it? Ha 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 ha
Porque anda no cubo, nada, no. Está tan pura. Is that quite a thing or a head? Ah, uh, right, I'm not sure. Go on then. Not bad, not bad. That would normally, that would have won it normally, apart from that one brick tip. Right, next jump, then. Killed it, he's killed it, he's won it by a mile, eh? What'd you play on? Ah, so good player then. What are you laughing at? Is he not a good player? Is he not a good player? No, I just want to see that picture in the cabin. Thank you, that! That's one of the netting there, obviously. Pretty good. Anybody else want to have a little go? Me! Anybody else? Ah, Paul, yeah, you'll be good back here. Come on! Chuck the roll on the amateurs, you're all hitting it. Oh, there we go. That's three amateurs with a tip. Have a practice ring first. Have you been doing for a few years? Oh, perfect. Watch this one go. 250 with a bit of draw. Oh. <laughs> Spot on, give her a round of applause, get it. You know what we're doing, Hey, yeah, you want to see a little bit of it? <laughs> Now, I have to tell you, I do loads of shows, and normally the winner's about an inch, so to get four people to actually hit the ball was quite impressive. That was a great shot of yours. Obviously, that wasn't bad at all either, really. And even yours, yours would have won normally, so it sort of kind of ruined the next bit of the game, but that's one of People always miss it, I always say it's one of the best things to do is start with, start with easy, start with it nice and shallow, and every tee deal with just one hand in this. So just start with one hand, and then from there. And obviously, what you notice here, there's a lack of distance. You know, they're only getting up there. Cut hundred yards if you're lucky, then go anyway, do they? But that's what happens if you swing one hand, because that's obviously a controlling hand. But if you've got yeah, two hands on it, then obviously you can get a little bit of a difference, you can get a bit more power behind it. Obviously you'll notice something else as well. Spot with it. Got it? Yep. And the dipper? Going higher. Hey? They're going higher. Well, of course they are. Tear them up like that. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, there they are. Here's the other look. They are going on. You tie your team up like that. They're higher again. Bang the bin in. Now, obviously, if you get up there, it's just going to be ridiculous, isn't it? But you can also fight the low. How do you fight the ball lower then? If you're playing golf in a windy condition, hmm? Tip down? Yeah. Hands up if you tip down. Five hand cap would you tip down? Back in your stance. Back in your stance. What do you feel? Six. Back in the stance, tip down. I disagree with all that. One day balls are all about hitting it up there, one day club. Tip up. You ever tried it this high? Much better for it lower. You tip up about waist height. <laughs> Find the ball generally goes out a little bit lower. <laughs> You'd have to be piercing in the wind, like, that'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Can <laughs> you imagine that just rolling up the fairway, like just running down there? Lovely, here she goes. <laughs> so why would you tear it down? Tear it up. <laughs> Give her a round of applause. Squeeze it one minute. The ball's falling off it. Now, obviously, we've got. Um, is it next? What are you here, Doug? Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday, you've got a chance to come and try. Here, I guess it's here, isn't it? Not the up yet, here. You get a chance to try all this equipment. Now, Yonex is a, a brand that people tend to not always go and have a little look at because it's, you know, you get used to the Callaways, the Taylor Mays, the Tucks and all that. But this is fantastic equipment. I've used it for 20 odd years, never been paid a penny by them to use it, which is a bad idea, really. I should have got eight, I think. But I do their shows for them in lieu of them giving me equipment. And I use it because it's just, the, the, the standard of graphite is fantastic. For ladies and seniors, there is nothing better. So if you are looking at the club or just fancy having a little try with them, make sure you come along and give them a little go. Because what they do do is produce great graphite. Great graphite and great golf clubs. Now, I've also lost another club now. There's a blue shaft one somewhere. 
Anybody see it? It's in the back. <laughs> this is mine. This was built for me. How many of you have your clubs custom fit? None of you? A couple of you? Yeah, it's so important. If you look around here, look at all the different shapes, sizes. It's going to be the same with swing speed. It's all going to be different. How can you all use a standard same chair or standard same head? And the great thing these days, and Dylan will be able to do that when he's here, is take it to the 9 degree driver and crank it to 10 and a half or 10 and a half to 12 or 10 and a half to 8 and all that type of stuff. But different shafts and fit ones that suit you and then every one that suits you. You know, going to take you two, for example. Chances of you two in the same club are probably really, really slim because you're different builds, different swing speeds. So make sure you try. So this is my little favourite. This one was built by me. By Yonex for me, and it's a lovely sort of golf club. I find I can really give it a good old tonk and the shaft and head work together. Hopefully, you can see these going off. Did you see that one, all right? I never really lose the head because the shaft and that is built for me. I like to hit it high, hit it low. Whatever I want to do, it's built for me. Now that club will be alright for you, but it may not be alright for you. So try around, have a little look, try what clubs are out there. For example, for most of you, probably, if you're struggling with your game, <laughs> something along these lines would probably work quite well. Nice big sweet spot, you can't miss this. This has got a built an alarm clock, this one. You can play early on a Saturday morning, look. Perfect club, can't miss it. But once you've got a right head, what's the next most important thing of a golf club? What would you think, sir? Shaft. It's important you get the right shaft. Now, what shaft do you play with? <laughs> Medium? So, regular? Regular. Do you play with that ever thought of playing with something softer? No. Are you happy with distance? No. Never happy with distance, exactly. Now, Club XP is where distance comes from. So what you need to do is get this moving as quickly as possible. So if you're hacking for distance, it means this isn't going quick enough. So maybe the power source here isn't enough. So maybe you want something with a little bit more <laughs> whip in it. You know? So you get the club head moving, your little tiny swing look, look at the club head. So even with this, tiny little club head, nice smooth swing, nice and easy look, the shaft will kick in, and off goes the ball. You know, these are tiny, tiny swings for me, look. You can just see the head kicking in. Now, the good thing is, if that's a bit stiff for you, you can get a softer version. <laughs> this is the extreme senior light, and this is perfect. Now, be careful if you've got a little waggle, because that obviously will be catching the shock, so you'll be careful of that. But even with as whippy as this, look, <laughs> It's possible to get a ball airborne and move down a fairway. Whoa. <laughs> See, so try some chance. Try some chance. <laughs> but if you can't afford a new driver and you're struggling, then the best thing to do is just take your old driver into Rob. He's always got some old chance hanging about and he can build you one of these. Do you ever try one like this? Brilliant, this is. Do you ever take a drop? Out the golf course? Think of this one then. <laughs> Two club legs, it's perfect for that. Now, if you want those sort of guys in marching ball with red lines, green dots, or your initials, don't bother with that. Once you buy one of these, just put your postcode on it. Look at that one go. Perfect. Goes forever. Come on, Paul. Your turn. <laughs> See you swipe now, you have a little go at this one. Well, <coughs> maybe it's all of you. Come on then, have a practice swing. That's it, well, I'll wind it up a bit. Yeah, look at that, sounds good, doesn't it? Come on then. Look at that, perfect, good stuff. <laughs> Any left handers here? Any lefties? Are you not left handed, sorry? Now that's going to be why you're struggling for distance. Why do you play left handed? 